All right, folks, Alan Rubel coming back at you for Ozark Mountain Outdoor Adventures. A special treat here for you today. We are continuing our tactical backpack review. So super excited about it. If you are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button uh, because we do have a lot of action and fun still in store for you. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So like I said, we're continuing on on our tactical backpack review. Super excited about it. These are some of my favorite bags. I'm definitely a, a, a bag guy. I feel like every bag has its own uh, job. So these are the two that I have used the most because they just check so many different boxes. You can use them in so many different ways. Uh, but I will go ahead and put these links down into the description and with those links, those uh, Amazon uh, marketing links, we definitely appreciate your support. Uh, anytime you use those links, it definitely helps us support the channel. Uh, you know, as far as uh, gas and, and just purchasing hunting tags, ammo, all that things, all those things come into play. So we definitely appreciate all the support. Uh, that you've been showing us here these uh, last few months. But if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button to the YouTube channel. Now let's get right into it. All right, folks. Again, like I said, I'm super excited to have these two backpacks on the table together. I have probably used them more in, on different adventures than any other pack uh, that I have had. And I'm just really, I mean, you can't go wrong with either one of them. But like I said, each pack has its own purpose and so I'm just going to give you a little bit of the thought process and the reasoning why I like each of these bags and like I said you can't go wrong with each of them uh, either of them but uh, definitely some differences between the two we're just going to go kind of go over the differences between these two packs uh, because there are a little bit of pros and cons between each one but let's go ahead and get a little closer look into it all right, doing a little bit of a size comparison between the two. Uh, we're going to start off with the 72-hour Atlas. Uh, it is just a really nice backpack from LA Police Gear. A super great quality. Uh, it is 900 uh, D polyester. I believe I paid $75 for this in 2018. Uh, today they're running about uh, $89, so with inflation, of course, there's going to be a little bit higher. But I'm telling you, compared to um, 511 Tacticals backpacks for the same size, the 72-hour, they're 160, 170. So uh, you're getting just about the same quality. I believe the 511 backpack is 1,200. Um, D polyester and this again is only 900 uh, but let's take a little bit of look and comparison between this and the operator bag so size comparison between the two give you a little bit of a rundown uh, between the two the uh, size on, on the 72 hour bag is 24 inches by 19 inches across and 10 inches deep uh, now you can extend this back or this front pouch in front of that to extend how deep it is but it comes to uh, right at 4560 cubic inches which uh, converts to 75 liters so this is a huge three-day pack you can use it for just about anything that you need um, and still have room. I, I use my turkey decoys uh, in this pack. There's a lot of things you can do with it. Uh, the downside is, is that it weighs 5.7 pounds empty. So it is a heavy pack. Uh, this is not, if you're wanting to go lightweight, this is not the pack to be taken on, on that trip. 
Um, and so um, it can get heavy when you it's big enough you can put everything in it but once you do it is big and heavy. So let's go ahead and compare it to the size of the operator bag. And the operator bag is 600 poly D uh, polyester and um, I, I believe I paid $54 for this a couple years ago. It's right still at $54. Dollars a little bit harder to find than the LA Police Gear 72 hour Atlas. However, I mean, it is a steal of a deal if you can get this. Um, LA Police Gear, they produce some amazing products. Uh, so, either of these bags, again, you know, you can't go wrong with them. Uh, however, this one is a bit lighter. Uh, I could not find the exact weight specs on this operator bag. However, I believe it is in the three and a half. Um, three pound, three pounds, eight ounces. Weight, weight. I mean, it is significantly lighter uh, than the 72 hour. So it is 20.5 inches tall, 16 by 12 inches deep. Uh, so it is a really nice all-around mid-size backpack. Uh, I really like uh, the layout of it as well, but. Really the focus here being the size comparison between the two different models here. And, and overall, I mean, I, I purchased the 72 hour bag first with the size of it. Uh, I needed a little bit more of a mid-range backpack and definitely looked at some of the features that I loved about the 72 hour bag and, and looked at it when I was purchasing the operator bag. Uh, and so if, it, if I hadn't already purchased this, I might not have settled on the operator bag. So anyway, like I said, you can't go wrong on the two. We're going to go ahead and dive into each one of these individually a little bit more in detail on some of the different uh, components and, and some of the different uh, items that I love about it and give you a, a little bit more information uh, about uh, the construction and those kind of things. So let's jump right into it. So the possibilities are endless. Again, I don't think I'm probably doing either of these bags justice. Uh, I will put the links down into the description. Uh, I have, you know, it's, I've had this the LA Police Gear 72 hour for since 2018, so it's definitely due for a follow-up review. Um, and I may may do that out in the woods and and just uh, put some of the stuff in it that I carry um, out on a on a ground hunt. And give you a little bit of a closer look on on how I use that. And uh, anyway, the, um, the the operator bag, man, I'm telling you what, it checks a lot of boxes. You can't go wrong with either of these bags. Uh, but I wanted to come at you real quick. I'm going to go ahead and put these on and give you a little bit uh, look on how they fit. Um, so you can kind of see I'm a big guy. But uh, let's let's go ahead and put them on and and just give you a little bit closer look. All right, here you go. Here is the operator bag give you kind of a look here on it all right that was the operator bag all right, here we go. This is the uh, 72 hour Atlas. Again, I just love these straps. All right, folks. Well, thanks again so much for tuning in with us. We definitely appreciate all your support uh, you've been giving to the YouTube channel. Uh, go ahead and get down into the comments. Uh, tell us what else uh, you'd like us to review or uh, if you want to see a different backpack. I know we had a lot of um, interest about that uh, 511 Tactical Moab 10. Uh, but if you get down into the links, all of these uh, bags and videos will be linked into the description, and we appreciate you 
uh, using those affiliate links to help support the channel. Go ahead and follow us on Facebook as well. You can check out uh, Ozark Mountain Outdoor Adventures, or you can find me, Alan Rubel, on Facebook. We definitely appreciate all the family and friends, and uh, we'll see you next time.